today we're going to talk about this new thing that Microsoft felt like they could just go ahead and install on our computers in this latest update is called the uh, Bing preview or uh, you see it right down here you probably see copilot preview is the name of it actually uh, Microsoft put it on there you click on it it's a Bing powered AI powered question answer thing that cat thing that I don't want you may not want it so we're going to deal with it the first thing we can do is we can just uh, disable the ability to click on copilot preview and use it but and, and then another way is just to disable it all together so first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at how just to make it where you can't click on this thing so we're going to go to start and up here I'm just going to type in settings click on my settings app and I'm going to go to personalization and I'm going to scroll down and find taskbar and right here copilot preview you can turn that off just like that and you notice it just gets rid of it down there when you do that or you can make it a little bit more permanent or at least I don't know if they'll reinstall it when they do another update or not but we can go back to uh, start and we're going to type in group you'll see gr edit group policy comes up and that's what I'm going to deal with get this on a little more permanent basis we're going to go down to administrative templates you see it right here let me open this up administrative templates we're going to open this up and then we're going to come down to windows components and then we're going to come down and find uh, windows copilot and we'll come over here and you see where it says turn off Windows Copilot. We're going to right click that. We'll click on edit. And you'll notice the default says not configured. And this is the policy here. So let's read it real quick so this will make sense. This policy setting allows you to turn off Windows Copilot. If you enable, that's this one here, enable this policy setting, users will not be able to use Copilot. The copilot icon will not appear on the taskbar either. If you disable, disable this policy, if you disable or do not configure this policy, which is the default, users will be able to use copilot when it's available, available to them. Well, so we're going to enable it. And we're going to apply it. And we're going to click OK. And then we're just going to close out. And you'll notice it is gone. It's no longer down here. If it still shows up on yours, if for some reason it didn't disappear at that time, don't panic. Just reboot your computer. It will be gone when you turn it back on. And that's all to getting rid of the Windows Copilot. And if this has helped you, how about leaving a like, leave a comment, subscribe. You have a good day.